Are you in sports right now? Yes. Yeah, what are you in? Soccer and I'm gonna do basketball. Got it. Good afternoon everybody. I just pulled Turin and Ashton and Landon out of school a few minutes early because today is the big day. Turin is getting his permanent cast put on. It actually worked out perfectly because they won't put a cast on for five to seven days after a break. So it worked out perfectly that the day we got home from Disneyland, we're able to get him in and get his permanent cast on. Hopefully get this arm healing quickly so he can get back to his regular life. Turin actually had his very first day back to school today with a broken arm. He actually came home and told me that one of his teachers excused a lot of his missing assignments because of his broken arm, which I thought was so sweet of his teacher. How was it? Mac, was it kind of hard? Yeah, it's hard to write. Is it hard to write? Well, I have to like stabilize my paper on hand, but I really can't. You so I had to tape my paper down every time we got an assignment. Oh my goodness, I forgot about the fact that you hold a paper when you're writing. So even though it's not your dominant hand that you write with, you mm -hmm. needed your left hand to hold the paper. Yeah, and I had to paint today, and it was kind of hard. And they still had you paint? Oh my goodness. How was it like at lunchtime? I was fine. Kid helped me eat. A kid helped you eat? What would you eat? He like got out my sauce. What was lunch today? Chicken nuggets. So you opened your sauce what for you? That? What else did you and have? And just to be funny, he fed me a chicken nugget. <laughs> <laughs> what did everyone think of your broken arm? Were they surprised or did they kind of already know? A lot of kids, they said they already knew. I have no idea how. So what did you do at recess? Uh, I walked around. That's really all you did? Yeah. You couldn't play any sport? No. That's probably really weird for you. Were you all by yourself? Oh uh, no, I did. Two kids. That hung out with you? Yeah. That's cool. Okay, so the question is, is he gonna get a candy cane cast, red and white? Is candy he gonna cane. get <laughs> get a candy cane cast? I don't know. Or is he gonna get red and green for Christmas? Or pink because he just loves pink. Or black. Or black. Or teal. Or teal. Or blue. Or gold. Or gold sparkles. <laughs> Good idea. Or silver. Ava. Or silver. What are you kinda thinking? Have you thought about it at all? Red. I kind of want black. The cool thing about black is if you have people sign it, we could get like those cool metallic markers, yeah. like gold and silver. Mm -hmm. But are you thinking you're not going to have anybody sign it for a while? I don't care. Keep it looking clean. Black will definitely stay clean looking, so that's good. Yeah. Maybe he could get a shirt and cover on it on his cast. I'm going to have to lock his door at night so you don't go in there and color on his cast. <laughs> Probably will. <laughs> I'm teasing you. If you was up and looking on your phone, then I'll sneak out and then... <laughs> no, don't do that. And then you see, what was that? <laughs> Where would you see your paints at today? Probably a three. Okay, it's really not bad. If you see me back here again, that means we'll be casting it. Actually, you might still see me because you might put a brace on it. Okay. Like on. A brace, like, like an arm brace. Oh yeah. So I might not need a cast. Yeah. It's a okay? cliffhanger. Cast or no cast. Yeah. We'll see. <laughs> Thank you. Yep. All right. He just unwrapped all of the ace wrap. We are waiting for the doctor to come in to tell us if he needs to be casted or not. I didn't even know it was an option to not be casted. That's where the break is. Can you feel it? Yeah. Freedom. <laughs> Feeling. The good oh, news is there were no that sores. Feels so weird. Does it? <laughs> All right. If I just touch your skin, does it feel normal? Yeah. Okay. I'm just gonna push around a little bit. Does this side hurt at all? Not as much. A little bit right there. Tell me when. Right there. Yeah. Okay. How about up in your elbow? Is that okay? Yeah. Go ahead and show me just uh, flexing your elbow up this way. Good. And then let it straighten. Good. It's gonna be a tiny bit stiff just because your elbow is yeah, kind of stuck in the Yeah, it feels because it'll like move it down. But that'll get better real quick. Okay. Are you in sports right now? Yes. Yeah? What are you in? Soccer and I'm gonna do basketball. Got it. As long as we have it protected, you can play soccer too. So really? It's actually really good timing for all of them. So it's, so it's, there's not a worry of him falling? You with the cast on, he's okay? Yeah, so we'll, we'll kind of go through it, but okay. if, you know, obviously when you have a cast on one arm, there's always going to be a risk that you could use your other arm to break a fall and hurt yourself on that side. But as long as you, know, you feel confident, you're going to have your elbow back no matter what we do today. So it's just going to be a short arm kind of thing. And so as long as you feel like you can keep it protected, it'll be totally fine just hanging out in the cast while you play soccer. Wow, cool. Yeah. But so these are the two bones in your forearm. So this is the one that's closer to your thumb, mm -hmm. and this is the one closer to your pinky. So where's the bone? Right there. That little thing right there. So we call these buckle fractures because the bone tends to bend instead of break all the way through. Ah. And so it makes a little buckle. And when we look from the side, 
side, you can see a little better in here. Yeah. So we have two different options to treat this. Something that is going to start in the palm of your hand like this and kind of hold your thumb. And then, like it'll come up, yep, and then it'll come up to about here. We can do it one of two ways. We can do a hard cast and the benefits of that are that we use waterproof materials so that if you want to swimming and that sort of thing, it's going to get super wet. So you may not want to do that, but at least if it, if it gets wet, you don't have to worry about it because it'll dry out. Um, it is nice and stable. And so if you know, you don't have to worry about taking it on or, or off or anything like that. The other option that we have is to actually do a brace that would cover essentially the same place in your arm and it would be really sort of hard and rigid around it, but it Velcros on and off. So that way you could just take it off to take a shower, which is a little bit easier. And still sleeps with it on? Yep, you would still okay. want to wear it all the rest of the time, but at least you can like wash your hands and shower and do that yeah. stuff. Either way, you're going to be wearing it for about three weeks. You might wrist be really stiff afterwards, do you think? It'll be a little stiff afterwards. Yeah. All right, so you see how there's a flat part right yes. here and a flat on the bottom? You just want to make sure Top that... Yeah. Wow, that's pretty easy. I do a brace, for sure. Definitely. <laughs> kind of like seems like a no-brainer, doesn't it? Yeah, it's yeah. Way, way better than a cast. Awesome. So wear it all the time for the next three weeks. Okay, you guys, this was completely unexpected. I had no idea that uh, not getting a cast was even an option. She said this is the very best break you can ever have and that it's really hard to break it worse and it just heals really easily. So she gave him the option of having a cast that's waterproof or a brace that he can take off to shower. And when she brought the brace in, it just felt like a no brainer. She said she's not worried about him taking it off. She said the only time she doesn't give people the option for a brace is if she can't trust them to keep it on. So it just felt like a no brainer. Look how easy, look how non-invasive this will feel for him compared to what he's been wearing for the last week. This is gonna feel amazing. Oh yeah, think? this is awesome. So, and she said that it should heal in three weeks from the injury. So two weeks from now. Yeah. Just crazy. Two weeks from tomorrow. Yeah. So I'm so happy for him. This is going to be so much easier than a cast. The only downside is you can't have anybody sign it, but I'd, take, I'd still take the brace over the cast. So we get to come back in about two weeks and she's gonna check it and see if he still needs to wear it. She said that possibly by Christmas he won't even be in his brace anymore. So we are just feeling so grateful. All right, guys. Hey, my first time on camera today. Just got back uh, from the office. Oh, we got someone saying hello down here. Hello. 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 So, you guys probably heard the news about Turin's cast. Honestly, it's really good news. It was, I guess, I don't know if I can use the term perfect, but they say it was about as good as a break as you can get in terms of uh, healing. It'll heal very, very fast. They gave us two different options, either a short cast or a hard cast, and obviously we chose the obvious option, right? Why get a hard cast when we don't need one? Funny enough, he was probably excited to get some people to sign the cast in general. Thought it'd be kind of cool, but we ended up going with the short cast because it was just a smarter decision. So, a brace. I am back now. Lindsay is out, so I am uh, kind of uh, here with the kids at the house. She is at a wreath making class with Mindy, which is kind of cool, but she's given me the task of hanging the wreaths on the outside of the house. So that is what the kids and I are gonna do tonight. It does require a fair amount of heights. You gotta be comfortable with heights. The house is a taller house, and so we gotta be comfortable with heights. The only child we have that's very comfortable with heights is Ashton. But Ashton and I are gonna get up a little bit on the ladder. I'm not gonna let him go up too far, right? Because I've gotta be careful. But I'm gonna go all the way up to the top of the house and hang some of these wreaths, and then I will show you guys the before and after of our house with wreaths and without. Gives the house a really good Christmas look, for sure. All right, guys, so here's the before without any wreaths. All right, Lando, I will walk up this one with you just to be safe, but you're welcome to hang it. So let's have you go up another three or four steps. Keep going. How you doing up there? I'm right behind you. I've got my hand right here on your foot. I got you. You're not gonna fall because I'm right here. I got you. You're only like five feet off the ground right now. Okay, all right, so stay right there. I'm coming up with you. Can you go up one more? Okay. All right, now lean into the ladder a little bit. There you go. Here's what we're gonna do here. I am Christmas tree. <laughs> okay, here we go. All right, so reach through the ladder right here. Grab it, and you see that nail straight ahead? Okay, now reach all the way through. All right, so lean all the way forward, and you're gonna put it right there. I can't see it. All right, I got you. And let go. Boom. Boom, baby. <laughs> that was a little scary, but. <laughs> we did it though, didn't we? Can I hang right. up the next one? How will uh, we, we let Ashley hang up the next no, one. No, but how will we get two each? We got a ton left. So okay, you, fine. So okay. the, these short windows, I'll let you guys do. The tall ones, I'm gonna do. Oh, 
apart, you guys. The twins and I have successfully hung nine out of the 10 wreaths. We're leaving the best one for last. So the twins are mad that I'm not letting them go up to the tallest windows to hang wreaths. Again, you guys saw these uh, these guys in Disneyland. If you haven't checked out those videos, you gotta look at our Disneyland videos. These guys are adrenaline junkies. So of course they're gonna wanna go to the top. So I can only imagine how Lindsay would respond if I actually let them go to the very top of the roof. So they helped the little ones. Now I'm going to go ahead and do the very last big wreath. Where are we gonna hang it? Mm, oh, cool. there. Okay. All right, you guys, here's the finished product. We've got all the wreaths on the main windows. Main wreath up there. Now, the side of our house, we actually hang wreaths over here. We don't put Christmas lights, even though we should probably consider it, maybe. But we actually hang wreaths on these windows as well because they're totally visible to just this street here. And so, we didn't want to leave these blank. Landito, high five, brother. Good work. That was weird. Ashy, high five. Oh, my God. Oh, you missed me. <laughs> Whoops, we're going to miss. <laughs> Well, yeah, you said we did a weak one. Let's do a good one then. Oh, no, nah. that was, no, that was weak. <laughs> okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. Good job, Annabelle. Hey, sit, sit. High fives. Yeah, it's a good girl. Here we go. All right, guys. Now that the wreaths are officially up on the house, the Christmas lights are up on the house. It just leaves the inside of the house now to decorate. Now, guys, we have an incredible Christmas tree that we actually got when we bought this house. I mean, you guys have seen our house tour. If you haven't, you have to check out our house tour. You can see how tall our ceilings are. They've got to be close to 18 feet tall in our uh, uh, family room. So we have a Christmas tree that's got to be at least 15 feet tall. And so you're not going to want to miss us setting up that tree. It's beautiful, really makes the house. It's kind of the centerpiece decoration for that family room. So you're going to want to check that out. We'll be putting that up this weekend. You guys, I just got home from a wreath making class. I've always wanted to do one of these. You make a wreath out of real greenery. It smells to die for. Smell that guys. <laughs> Can you smell that? I used five different kinds of greens and then a little bit of these like white berries as well. It turned out so beautiful. Finishing wreath for this year for 2019 is dun dun dun. A handmade wreath ladies and gentlemen from Lindsay Marie Bingham herself. <laughs> Lindsay do the honors my dear. Love it. I just love it. It smells amazing. <laughs> All right babe put it up. Oh, smell that Justin. Wow. <laughs> Look at that, you guys. Oh, I love that. <sighs> guys, it's getting cold. <laughs> I told them that the Christmas tree is coming this weekend. You're not gonna wanna miss that. This is the latest we've ever put up our Christmas tree. I know. Tree. But we had a pretty packed Thanksgiving then off to Disneyland, and so we haven't oh, had time just yet. Oh, that, I was in Arizona. This that is true. It's been a very, very busy holiday season, and we're so happy to be home for the holidays. There's nothing like home. So Lindsay's off to go get her nails done at Mindy's house. I'm going to put the kids down to bed. You guys, I got an evening off, and it felt amazing. Well, good. So thank yes. you. <laughs> All right, guys. Hey, if you have not subscribed down below, turn on that notification bell. We are going to upload some awesome videos this Christmas season. And hey, be sure to share it with a friend. And if you have not, be sure to check out Lindsay's blog. It's she, Lindsay is a phenomenal writer. So you got to go check out her posts over there. If you have not yet, please follow us on Instagram. It is Our Life in Holland. Check that out. Lindsay posts some awesome stories on there. Some great posts again that we try to keep outside of YouTube. Guys, if you have not uh, yet caught on to why our channel is called Our Life in Holland, I will link that video above now so you can go see that as well in the description some of you have asked why the name for the channel no we do not live in Holland but check that out because it has a deeper meaning to us as parents as to why we called our channel that so I also did a blog post that you can check out as well that kind of talks about you know why we started this whole journey and just want to say thanks to all of you for all your support and kindness and for following us along this has been such a ride and we're so grateful all right good night everyone see you tomorrow good night guys <laughs>